lovely Leos and welcome to 2024. Oh my goodness, 2024 is going to be a big year for Leos. Now, um, when it comes to Capricorn season, uh, we are going to take a look at the energy for you and the person on your mind and that could be a twin flame or soulmate and see what exactly is happening in your relationship or your connection. Now, my lovely Leos, this time, what I did is that I picked eight cards because 2024 um, is the year number eight. And I'm also going to uh, pick more cards for you guys or shuffle more cards for you guys and uh, for extra information. And always remember that there's going to be an extended reading for the Zodiac signs on the membership site as well. So you guys can join us if you want to. And um, let's start and see what's going on. And um, I shuffled the cards before and these are the cards that um, I picked for you guys and uh, we're gonna see what exactly is happening and we are also going to draw more cards in order to get information about your relationship or your connection but before I actually reveal all of that for you guys um, is that I feel that for um, the season of Capricorn you are going to be faced with some kind of a risk here okay basically the whole 2024 is going to be a year of of risk and um, why is that because they're saying that uh, what you want uh, within this relationship and overall in your life perhaps but mostly in your love life it involves some kind of a risk and if you're not taking that risk or if you're not you know embodying that energy of the food which I feel like maybe for quite a while you've been uh, scared to step into it um, then you're not gonna get the reward so you know when they say they hire the risk uh, they hire the reward so and this is the case within your relationship now i feel that when it comes to your person of course there has been a lot of ups and downs and perhaps you didn't feel that secure uh to step into it just like that i feel like a lot of you guys have been kind of like wondering if this person is really serious or is it just not going to go anywhere so i feel like a lot of you guys didn't take a risk or you did not want it to step into it because of that and also because for some of you guys i feel like you wanted to perhaps in the beginning do it but maybe your person was also not ready or they have been off and on with you but things are changing in 2024 extremely good year for Leos 2024 is a year number eight and is a year of infinity and also in Toro it represented by the strength card which is the Leo so let's start and uh, we're gonna see what is going on for Capricorn season I feel that um, your person is going to approach you to I feel like there's going to be communication happening uh, but let's take a look at your cards because I haven't seen them either and I just uh, pick them and we're gonna see what exactly is happening uh, within your connection okay the first card that you guys have is the tree of wands oh my goodness Leo a lot of changes are about to happen in your life in three aspects of your life there's going to be uh changes and i see that uh love is uh one of them but i feel like for a lot of you guys career maybe even for some of you guys there's going to be relocation happening and uh, oh my goodness we have the fire dragon dragons live within our minds and we must harness their fire it's beautiful talking about the year of dragon so some of you guys could actually be year of dragon as well and um, let's see what else we also have trust beautiful and I feel that this is what spirit is telling you that you need to trust the process and just go for it okay don't be afraid to take a risk and fire dragon of course you know the fire element your element is also being showed up and maybe for some of you guys um, there's also a year of dragon it could be like some of you guys are born in the year of dragon but they're talking about the year 2024 which they're asking you to harness the fire or the passion within you and uh, let's see oh my god leo you guys have the ten of cups here beautiful divine love happiness blissful relationship alignment family love and support fulfillment emotional stability domestic joy oh my god leo and there's a kid here so 
this is your happily ever after this is the ten of cups and it showed up for you guys and i told you guys it's going to be very positive what else do you guys have blessings ten of shells beautiful blessings of well-being okay a lot of you guys will be also recovering from anything that maybe in um previous years maybe you had health issues whatever that you had i feel like this year you are going to recover we also have reference okay there's pisces energy also coming up and uh, it could be your person's energy coming up or it could be some of you guys have pisces but pisces energy is coming and uh, we also have i deserve to receive and give love oh my god this is so beautiful guys this is very very beautiful yes you do deserve to receive and give love i feel like this year you are going to get into that conclusion basically and um and this is the message but i feel like i'm gonna read it a little bit closer uh, to the end of your reading okay so we are going to keep it and sorry guys and um we are going to keep it and uh we're gonna read it after we get all the information about what exactly is happening within your relationship but it's very interesting that you guys had um you guys have the ten of cups very very beautiful there is a rainbow here so many blessings are waiting for you leo okay so what i'm going to do is let me get some more cards for you guys and then we are going to start your reading uh, but at least i feel that this way is a little bit uh, different and i've been feeling like um you know the readings could get a little bit uh, repeating themselves while i was doing it um, from your energy and their energy so i changed it a little bit and see um how you guys feel okay now what do we do yes let's get you guys some tarot so i'm gonna get tarot but then if we need more then you know we'll see what else we're gonna need for the information there's also three dubs here very very beautiful trinity this is the energy of trinity coming okay and uh let's uh let's get some more tarot and see what exactly is going on we have the ace of swords wow beautiful okay and there's a breakthrough so um i feel that for some of you guys i did a pick a card reading and uh, make sure you watch that it might be resonating with you guys because some of the energies could be coming as well so you might want to watch that as well and um okay what else we also have um but you have the four of pentacles okay and let's see what else is happening we also have the five of wands okay and i will tell you guys what exactly is going on and um we'll see okay we also have the ten of swords okay so um what i'm seeing here is that i feel that on your person's end there has been a lot of conflict okay i feel like there has been a lot of conflict they've been um feeling that they can't maybe communicate with you even though they really want you i feel like the, uh, they are still holding on to you like you're still the one for them there's absolutely no doubt about it but i feel like um they had a lot of conflict i feel like it could be with other people there has been situations that they had to deal with but in any case it could be that they have not been um in communication with you uh for quite a while so i got disconnected okay so um let's continue now what exactly is going on here is that i think that um as i was saying like your person is having some kind of a conflict and it could be that this conflict is with the people around them i'm seeing people around them creating conflict for them um there's chaos there's also um they're saying like there's a clash of egos so it could be that they are working in an environment or uh, some place that other people are very competitive and they're trying to you know get on top of each other in order to be successful so um i feel that they have a lot of um 
uh, difficulty, especially when it comes to their uh, environment. That could be their work environment. It could be, you know, family. But I see that strongly and at their um, work environment. Now, you might have been thinking, like, you know, why they don't uh, communicate or why they haven't been contacting you. Is because I feel like they've been uh, feeling. Um, that they are reaching their uh the end of the rope like i feel like they've been feeling like very down they've been feeling that um it's the end of them like basically some of them they had no hope uh they thought that they also maybe they shouldn't involve you because there's a lot of challenges in their life at the moment it says painful challenges and stabbed in the back and it says being left to bleed out crisis deep wounds collapse exhaustion betrayal failure so I feel like they have been experiencing that but the good thing is about the ten of swords which I know that a lot of people see that and they say oh my god this is so bad because this person is uh, has been backstabbed they have been betrayed they just you know have no hope in life but you know this is the end of it okay the good thing is that this this scenario or whatever that they have been going through is ending okay and yes it's painful so I feel that that's why they haven't been maybe um, in communication with you um, it could be that they also have been um yeah it could be that they also have been uh, feeling sick or had a lot of like health issues and maybe that's why they couldn't also contact you um i feel like they're still holding on to you um they could be feeling like sometimes they can feel a little bit insecure especially when it comes to money okay um but right now what spirit is saying is that there's something like they are going to have that breakthrough that maybe both of you guys have been waiting for for a really long time i feel that the year of dragon is going to accelerate accelerate uh, this energy of uh, breakthrough and it says truth new height new ideas vision focus mental clarity success so i feel like even though they feel like they are a failure when it comes to love and also other aspects of their life possibly they are going to win this okay i feel like they're going to have more clarity they're going to have success and they're going to come forward um, and you guys are going to have your happily ever after but I feel that before that, you know, what spirit is telling you, Leo, is that to trust the process, okay? Um, they're, they're showing three, three of ones and also on the trust, there is also, there are three butterflies and there's also the three doves here, which all of them are saying that, you know, you are going to experience freedom in three aspects of your life. And I feel that in your love life, you're also going to be, uh, feeling that you you can uh, you guys can do this together basically you guys are going to be free from situations or even like mental blocks because i feel like for you leo uh, what they are saying here is that maybe there was something that had to do with self-love for you guys as well because it says i deserve to receive and give love so i feel that maybe for some of you guys you needed to uh, practice that you needed to work on that um, maybe you thought like this person doesn't love you and that's why they are not coming forward but that was not the reason now there's also with a ten of shells which is very very beautiful and there's this pelican here um, the bird look at that very very beautiful um i feel like this is the ten of pentacles and it says blessings or well-being so something i feel like you guys are going to come into a beautiful union or reunion with you, with each other but also both of you guys are going to be healthier okay this year like you guys are going to if there was a health issue i feel like you guys are going to be overcoming that um and i feel like on your end strongly that the block could have been about self-love or something that maybe you felt like um you know there has been some kind of a self-love issue that maybe you are resolving at this time and for them i feel like it has something to do with security could have been like the root chakra because we have the red dragon and the red dragon is talking about um security it also talks about like feeling 
um, rooted, okay, feeling, um, I, or, or the power even, I feel like for a lot of them could be about that, like feeling like, um, I feel strongly that this has to do with their security, okay, they've been feeling insecure, fragile, okay, um, and also I feel like they could have invested in something that it didn't work out and they thought that they lost everything that they are a failure um, not only in love but also maybe in investment or something that has to do with money as well but what they don't know is that there's this um blessings and also you know blessing of well-being and also this breakthrough which is coming in in their life mental clarity new ideas so i feel like soon they are going to have like new projects or new ideas that they are going to implement and it's going to be very very successful now um, if they are a Pisces I feel like um, they could be into art as well so they could be very artistic um, but it could be that they've been doing something else that it was just not um, bringing them happiness okay they just been sticking to that situation because of money or finances uh, but they are very very talented it could also be you Leo as well like I feel like some of you guys could be very artistic um, especially like working with watercolor painting okay some of you guys um yeah i'm seeing like somebody is like painting a fish like inside you know uh like a goldfish or but also you know guys this is very interesting because we have the reference and it's a, and there is a goldfish here now why does it say reference because i feel like there's something about like prosperity that maybe like you see that with this person but it hasn't been materialized yet you know when you paint something or when you um you know when you paint something it's almost like you are bringing the energies into 3d but not yet completely this is like almost like still 2d and once you know it manifests as the union then that's the um kind of like a 3d manifestation of your desire or whatever that you want with them so i feel like it's about to come if you have been visualizing or if you have been uh maybe um even like in your journal like you know painting the way that you want things to happen i feel like you're about to manifest this ten of cups with them uh, but you just have to trust the process at this time and also believe that you really really deserve this love okay let the fire within you the fire dragon and it says dragons live within our minds and we must harness their power uh, their fire meaning that harness the power of your creativity of your imagination in order to manifest what you want with this person okay so let me get um I'm gonna get more cards for you guys, so don't worry. I know that you you are like okay. Um, what else do I need to know? Hold on a second, guys. Okay. okay so um i think that let's also get you guys more information and then um i think i will give you guys some angel message as well from your guardian angels too and but let's just get some confirmation on these and then we'll see what else is coming out but yeah there is very interesting the trinity is coming out there are three butterflies and there's three dove like you know going around and saying like trust the process okay oh my god okay let's see what this is what this is and it says get curious and it says carnelian okay um and again there is a lot of like red color here there's red orange yellow which is like your you know solar plexus and root chakra energy coming what they are saying here is that i feel like also um it could be that you are very curious right now or you want to know what exactly is happening because i feel like you know it could be that the future or you know we could say what you want to manifest is still sealed 
like it hasn't been that much revealed to you and you're like very much like wanting to know now the other thing is that i feel like this connection as i said to you guys in the beginning has a risk it could be because of um, something that has to do with traveling international travel there's some kind of a maybe a document there's something you know within this relationship that uh, could involve um, a risk and also it's very exciting it's very like you really want to know i feel like you're very also perhaps curious about it but it's just not revealed yet so they're saying that trust it okay because you will know it could be that um, for some of you guys, this uh, something involves like an international business. I don't know for some of you guys, it could be like, um, uh, you know, like a business with uh, Eastern countries. Like they could be like, you know, if you're living in US or, you know, North America or parts of America or other parts of the world, doesn't really matter where, but there's something like a business, maybe like international business uh, that I'm seeing. But also I'm seeing like a, a uh, sealed document okay that maybe you're wondering maybe it's a key to this let me see what it is because i feel like it's getting like very very interesting for you guys now um i'm doing this because i want to get like different uh oracle cards uh, and toro as opposed to just like few because i feel that it can give more information yeah because i see that somebody is in the international business like they go around the globe okay um there's also some kind of a certificate maybe some of you guys been taking a test or like uh, something that you're going to get a certificate and you're wondering about it and spirit is saying that don't worry you are going to get this okay but in relation to your connection i feel strongly that um there is some element of travel as well okay let's see um let's see what else the spirit uh, wants to tell you okay it says into me i see number eight. Oh my goodness beautiful leo and uh, we have uh, quieting the mind okay and we have again oh my god number 17 we have the storyteller wow okay something is brewing here we also have ears wide open number 33 wow okay okay leo i think i know what is going on and i think a lot of you guys might also oh my god uh great and full i feel like this is your cup of love it's gonna be full leo full of blessings full of happiness full of health as well like you guys are going to recover if there has been an issue and also with your person as well but i also feel like your person is going to have their cup full and they are going to offer this to you as well so this is the cup of love i feel that the universe wants to shower you with this cup of love which is coming from this person okay and um now what i'm seeing exactly is happening here in regards to that document in regards to this sealed kind of like a, it looks like an ancient scrolls a scroll is that maybe for some of you guys there is something that you wanted to know strongly about this relationship like you always been curious about it and for some of you guys you've been maybe even writing a book about it you guys are storytellers let me tell you you guys are storytellers you guys could be writers artists um but there is something about this relationship that i feel like you guys are going to be writing about it um some of you guys could be like um, they're saying like how you can you know understand this relationship is by going within and also doing meditation i feel like the answers will come to you leo okay um, and also listening uh, because it says ears wide open and I feel like by listening um, to your intuition and also like listening to what exactly is happening within the relationship you're going to get the answers that you've been seeking about this relationship but also I feel like you're going to be writing about it you're going to be telling other people about it oh my god I'm just looking at this Leo card and I really love it because um, I feel like you guys are going to be like um uh, famous like writers famous like artists but in any case you guys are going to be known 
um, for writing a very very specific like story about this love and it is about love okay it's you you are writing it you already maybe started it yeah i feel like maybe for some of you guys you've been writing it in your journal and they're saying that um turn this into a book and share it with the world because other people uh, will want to know your love story because it's going to be very very interesting yeah great and full so your cup is going to be full it's coming for you guys and um yeah and that's why it says into me i see so when you go within when you do meditation when you are quieting your mind then you can see everything leo okay you can see everything within this relationship but know that this cup is coming that the universe and also your person will offer this cup of love to you because we also had uh you know the ten of cups for you guys so that is for sure that this is coming and um very very beautiful very beautiful i'm seeing a lot of places um but uh, please don't concentrate too much on the locations but this could be specific for some of you guys for instance i'm seeing greek italy i'm seeing england uh, ireland i'm seeing also china or some parts of east as well or it could be some of you guys could be from like any of these countries but living in u.s or some parts of north america as well okay so okay leo that was beautiful and um let's also see what your card is saying and it says it's time to reflect on what really matters ultimately this is love peace and happiness and you can only find this within yourself oh my god leo into me i see how beautiful is that when there is peace and love in your heart there will be peace and love in your world for all your experiences are simply your own reflection and there is a lot of like that solar plexus chakra energy and this is number eight so this is your year okay as i said this is your year and i feel that this is also exactly talking about the energy of the ten of cups happiness divine love blissful relationship alignment emotional stability fulfillment okay yes all of that is coming for you leo that is for sure that this is happening for some of you guys it's possible that you will also have a child with this person okay but they're also talking about a new beginning that will um start with them very very beautiful i feel like strongly you guys will have a family with this person and um let's also get you guys a message from your angels and then we're also gonna get you guys um uh charms and then we will also um then we are going to finish your reading because um i really really uh want to like do readings more often for you guys so i'm really trying uh, that this year i'm hoping that i can be more here for you guys but uh let's see let's see what is um what life is going to what uh, adventures are waiting okay so this is the message from your guardian angel as well and we're gonna see what the message is in regards to your connection okay let's see let's see what your what the message is and we have the prayer okay let's see what it says it says dear guardian angel help me uh, dissolve past guilt or regret help me to see that all is always perfect and in divine order help me to let go of the fear that i pro project on my future help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me help me to realize and fulfill my true potential this is beautiful and you will fulfill that i feel like you will fulfill that with your person as well um it could be that there is some kind of a regret on their end um, i don't know if this is something that they are saying i feel like it could be like what they are saying it could be that they have some fears that they have been projecting in it in their future i feel strongly that this could be like something that they have been um, experiencing and they are releasing that this is what i'm seeing okay and uh, just a second guys
okay now let's also get you guys some charms and then we are done with the reading so let's see what we are going to get for leos and this one also came out so i think i'll take it okay let's see what it says it says i was afraid of getting hurt couldn't express myself before i will tell you how i feel i believe that this showed up in um in the uh, uh pick a card reading that i did and maybe you guys will pick that pile and it says i uh, i want us to be together okay so i feel like they had a fear i will tell you how i feel okay i'll see you soon my love okay so i feel like they they could have had like a fear that they are overcoming because that guardian angel card was saying that and um they are very very also passionate about you i feel like there has been a health issue could have been on both ends that is going to get resolved and um let's see it says it says my thoughts are cloudy i feel like they couldn't make a decision or they couldn't move forward because of that we also have um what is that okay sorry guys we also have a key so and i feel like this is um on the storyteller there's something about like you telling your story your story about this love could be the key something that you are going to do this year or something that um has to do with the relationship as well and um what else they are saying here elizabeth okay the name is coming elizabeth there is also a flamenco um uh, it could be that i'm seeing like florida or some you know hot parts of the world and it says i'm planning uh to finally come and see you after all these years i miss you we will see each other very soon less than a month wow leo okay and it says you mean the world to me and yeah they could be a cancer or maybe they have cancer in their chart and um yeah definitely there's this place that there's pineapples and there's like flamingos okay so it could be like florida it could be like i don't know some uh caribbean islands or that uh yeah because oh my god there are two flamingos okay so i feel like they're talking about you know this love and there's also it you know a heart with you know i feel like this is the key i feel like you guys have the uh, the key to the heart of this person they are very very passionate about you that's for sure we have a lot of like red color but i feel like their um, root chakra has been blocked maybe they needed to uh find that security um in order to come forward and we also have letter s okay and uh, something about music it could be that this person also is into music um, especially like playing guitar or some kind of a musical instrument is also being showed up and um, what else they are saying here okay there's also butterfly okay if you guys see there are like there's like two butterflies here so i feel like it's referring to those butterflies that we saw um so there are like changes that are happening for you guys that is for sure that there is changes coming okay let me get you guys there's also mexico okay there is mexico um let me get you guys just a little bit more oh my god it just came out okay let's see if there's anything else we have letter e letter b and canada okay and it says i want you to know that the last time we were together was so magical uh, we are a power couple together we can conquer anything this i know okay and it says i have been very indecisive about this relationship didn't know what to make out of it i feel like they've been very yeah they haven't they've been like on and off with you i feel like that could have been the case and um 
there are two hearts here okay i feel like it's almost like your hearts are intertangled and i read that for you guys okay i feel like let me see if there's anything else that i'm not seeing here but i feel like um i showed you guys everything yeah because i also showed you guys the butterflies i feel like and there's also a ring here okay so it could be that this yeah you saw you guys i feel like you could get engaged with this person as well and um, this person is like something about your hair is like maybe they love your hair something about the hair is being showed up here as well it's almost like their heart wants to fly to where you are i feel like they cannot wait to see you they're like very very um they're like waiting okay they're they want to uh, th this they would really really want to see you and i feel like you will see each other very soon it's also very interesting that we have a black crown and also um a black key here so it could be that uh, for some of them they've been confronting their own shadows something that has to do with their shadow that maybe after that they will be able to come forward because we also have a uh, blue crown and I feel like this is talking about like a crown chakra that could have been blocked something about the crown chakra that I see could have been blocked yeah very very interesting okay guys um i hope that you guys enjoyed it oh my god there's something about like a globe there's an international business or something for sure for some of you guys that i see okay my lovely leos i hope that you enjoyed your reading i'm sending you guys so much love until next time